So in the last video, I showed you how to make changes to your local GitHub repository using the GitHub uh, desktop client. This time we're going to do the same, but this time we're going to do it in the console instead. So I'm going to try and make right out of the bat here, we have no differences. I just want to show you there's no changes here. And if I do the git status, the important command, you can see there's nothing to commit. There's no difference from the version um, and the actual repository. So there's no changes at all to be seen. Now I'm going in and I'm going to change document five and seven now. So here I'm going to write, I like Git. I'll save that and then I'll do the same. I'll open document seven and write something in that one. Well, I'll say uh, Git rocks a lot, something like that. And now they pop up in here. I'm not going to commit them from here. I'm just going to show you how you could do the same thing we did last time. You remember, I kind of said last time, I want to select this guy only and I want to do a commit. But instead, we're going to do it from the terminal. So again, I'm going to do the git status again. Remember arrow up key to remember your last command. And here it pops up and says you have two modified documents. Last time it said added uh, documents or removed documents. This time they're just modified. Still, I need to add the file. I need to tell the system if I want to actually commit these guys. And then last lesson, we only committed document two in the first one. So I'll do the same. I'll do a git add and only the five one. So now it says I have one that's added and one, and notice it's in the center now because it's actually modified. It's not a plus, it's not a minus, it's just modified, not added or removed. So now I can do a git commit and like before, I have to give it a message. So I'll do a git commit, I'll do a dash M to tell it it's going to be a message. Let me just expand this guy so you can see the entire solution here. And then I'm just going to give it a, a message of um, I changed doc seven. You can't see it anyway, so you'll have to live with this. A presenter, and now this guy has been changed. And if we want to see it in the GitHub client, you can actually see now it's only, if I go back, now document five has been changed just like before. And if you go back here, document seven is still waiting to be committed. Remember, either you're just new in the repository or you've been added for the next commit, or you've actually been committed for the next version. Those are the three areas. And I know this is kind of repetition, but this is the most important, most, most fundamental thing to understand in version control, and especially for Git, because that's the way we do um, work with Git. Okay, let's try and do the same thing. First, I wanna add, and this time I wanna add text document seven, and then I wanna commit it. So now I changed <laughs> document seven. Um, and yes, I know I just wrote seven before where it was actually five again. Wrong comment, not good, but let's just keep it that way. Let's have a look here again. And now document seven has also been committed. Let's just do it again where I now change both documents just like I did in the last video. So um, don't steal my chair. And the other one. Frodo rocks. There we go. So I saved them both. And again, let's have a git status. And here you can see I've modified both documents. If I want to see it in the GitHub client, just to show you, you can see the same information here. They have been modified. Good. I want to add them both. So I'll do a git add, a dot to show I want to add both. And then I'll do a git commit, change document five and, or seven and five. Do the commit and now I'm pretty much done, just like before. They're both gone and they are in this version now. So now we're starting to have a lot of different versions here you can jump between, right? So this is starting to be some proper version control. And you can always see for each version what was actually changed since the last version. Here you can see there are two changes since the last version and right now there are no new changes incoming. That was all for modifying your documents. See you in the next lessons.